Hey y'all, Wild Kyle here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm with my buddy Brian here from Alaska. To make a really long story short, Brian is a good friend of a good friend of mine, and I get a text from my buddy Jacob saying that a friend of his is in town who apparently has been watching Wild Kyle on YouTube for a while, so we ended up uh, meeting up and now we're out going fossiling together. So today, specifically, we're going to be looking for Eocene aged echinoids. These are some of the oldest fossils you can find in Florida. These are around 40 million years old, and echinoids are fossilized sea urchins, sand dollars, and things like that. So I'm super excited to get to it. We're going to drive over to a cool canal and some sites on the coast, and it's going to be absolutely beautiful, and we're going to have a good time, so let's get to it. So check it out guys, it's absolutely beautiful out here. We're out on the coast of Florida and it is absolutely gorgeous. And what we're looking at right here is basically dredge spoils that they dredged up from right here and dumped on the sides. There can be a little bit of sensory overload as you can see. There are so many thousands of rocks and they're all covered in kind of like an algae and stuff. So you're looking for that classic circular shape of the echinoids. It's super fun, super relaxing stuff. So hopefully we find some great ones today. Alright, here's Brian cleaning off his first echinoid of the day. Check that thing out. That's yeah, gonna look dang. amazing clean up. It's got some like limestone matrix right there, but yeah. good one man. Thanks man. Alright, Brian strikes again. He's yeah. working on one that looks insane right there. Oh my gosh, that one looks like it's gonna be insane. Looks like it's gonna be huge. <laughs> it looks like it's complete. Oh my goodness. Oh man. That is awesome. <laughs> Incredible. Dude, let's wash that thing off. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, that wow. one is absolutely gorgeous. That. that is a monster. 40 million year old sea urchin. That is sweet. Alright, now I got myself going all up in the trees, but I think I see an echinoid way up in here sticking out of the side. Look at that right there. Can we get it? Oh! Oh, it's all busted. But that's definitely an echinoid right there. You can see a little bit of the star pattern. That one would have been cool if it wasn't so busted up. Oh, look at that right there. Oh my God. They're everywhere in here. That's cool. Look at that big giant boy. Just hanging out right in the open. That's awesome. I might be able to get some of that limestone matrix off of there, but sometimes it just looks kind of cool to leave it as well once you get it cleaned off. But it's a big nice echinoid with a big nice butt right there. Awesome. It looks like it. <laughs> look at this. Brian's way up in the trees, and he's got an echinoid. That's definitely an echinoid uh, right that, there. Oh, it's a pretty one, too. Ah! Look at that. Oh my gosh, that one's gorgeous. It's flipped on its end. That's no, sweet. No breaks. It's... Well, I think we figured out the method, man. You got to get up in the in the trees right here. Got some kind of big boy oh, yeah? right here. Let's see if the other side's nice. Oh, that looks like it could be okay. It's a lot of matrix and stuff stuck to it, but let's get it wow style. Ooh, that one's like kind of cracked but still together. That's weird. And I kind of like it when they have like a big chunk of matrix on the back, but I might try and break that down a little bit too. That's a pretty cool one. Very nice. I think I found one right next to where you were looking, Brian. Look at this. <laughs> Look at that. It's a nice one too. <laughs> so I guess they're not always under the trees, but... <laughs> oh, that one's going to look good. Sweet. I love those little guys like that. Ooh, look at that side. Look looks great. Very cool. And I think right there. Look at that. Ba -boom. Do it. That one's nice too. All right, let's go traipsing through the trees, my friends. We're going in the tunnel right here. This is where a lot of them are. And there's oh my gosh, there's crabs and broken glass everywhere. We've kind of been throwing a lot of this in a pile. We're gonna come back through here and pick all the trash up and throw it away because it does not belong here. Look at that can, can, bottle. Yeah, we got a lot of work to do. Look at this little crab friend that I made. His name's Jerry. Jerry the Crab. What's up, buddy? You are so pretty. All right, see you later. Well, it looks like we are about to get rained on here pretty soon if that comes this way. I'm hearing some crazy thunder. Look at those dark clouds over there. And also, the water feels absolutely amazing. I've been just kind of walking around in it to cool off every once in a while. But we might be getting some cool storms. Wouldn't it be crazy to see like a water spout or something? Might have to go over there and watch this storm. Looks like I got one right there that might be nice. Oh yeah, that one's gonna look good cleaned up. Very cool. And that storm is getting closer, my friends. But let's wash this one off and check it out. All right, getting this one washed off. That one is going to look pretty good. Some cool color on there. 
once I get that cleaned up, that star pattern should be really nice and visible. Oh yeah, and that backside's great. That one's awesome. Very happy with that. Check it out, y'all. Those clouds are looking absolutely wicked. Still hearing a good bit of thunder, and I'm just waiting, man. I want to see, I want to see a water spout pop out of there. Something like that would be crazy. I've never seen one in my life, but you know, might happen one day. Came to my vehicle here, and I found a little reusable bag. That's the only thing I could find to put some trash in. So I'm gonna take that back down and throw some trash in it and get it out of here because it don't belong. It's really windy, and y'all can probably hear that. So sorry about any weird sound quality, but I think it's gonna miss us just by a hair. I came back after having a slice of pizza and getting something to put trash in, and Brian said he saw something really nice down in the trees and he saved it for us to take out on camera. So let's see what it is. Oh, it is all buried up in the roots. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That might be the nicest one of the day now, dude. That's cool. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, it's butts a little bit. Blown out there. <laughs> I don't know. Are they mangroves? I don't know. I feel ashamed for not knowing. So y'all let me know in the comments below. What is this tree? Hey, look at the crab right there. He's crawling up it. That's <laughs> awesome, man. Thanks for saving that for us. Absolutely, man. Sweet. Exciting. All right, guys. So I just picked this one up. It's pretty nice, other than it's busted up right there on its butt. But we were moving some rocks around, and look at that right there. That might be a complete one. Oh. See, when they move like that. Oh yeah, oh, that's that might be a really nice one. Okay, so we'll get that one cleaned off in a second after we pull that one out right there. Oh no, oh, that oh, looks really pretty. I can see the star pattern on it. <laughs> oh, please be complete. Yes, oh, dude, man. oh, that's it's awesome. a little bit beat up on the booty too. But okay, we gotta wash those off. Oh, this one's gonna look so good. It's like solid black in one part of it, that's weird. It's a little bit beat up down there, a lot more beat up, but that one's pretty good too, man. Oh, look at that, dip perfect butt hole. Sweet, these are gorgeous, I love these. So I was about to pick up that echinoid right there that you can see that round shape of, but I found a ton of fishing line. Luckily, Brian has a pocket knife here, so we're gonna cut this stuff up and a get rust, it out of here. Rusty hook too, oh my right gosh, there. that hook right there. Yeah, we gotta get this stuff out of here, this. This is about the worst thing you can find out here because animals can get caught up in that. And also, kids coming out here and stuff could get stuck on it and get a hook in them or something too, so Bad we're gonna cut this stuff out of here. All right, All right, we got that stuff out. Where's that hook right there? Yeah, it's right there, yeah. Cool, all right, so now, set this right here. When we take the trash out, we'll throw it in that bag right there. Now, we gotta get that echinoid I saw. <laughs> okay. Hello, baby. Oh, oh, it feels slimy. Oh, look at that. Oh, That's gonna wow. be a nice one. It's got little oh, oysters wait. stuck to it. That's so cool. There's another one right here. Oh, my hat's falling off. Here I go. Oh, it's all busted up. He's stuck. No, dude. Is he? Is he stuck on the line? He might be. Let's, let's, let's get him out of there if we can. Hold on to that for Would he be holding on to it for a reason? <laughs> that what's that piece? Is he like eating it? Like what is he doing? Ow, 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 oh, ow. Oh my ow, gosh. Alright, well, there's the second time I'm gonna bleed today, maybe. <laughs> Let me uh It's wrapped around his leg right there. Uh, <clears throat> That's right around his big pincher. See, ah oh, man, yeah. it's so far up. So I'm gonna flip him over. Yeah. There. You got it? I think I might have. Oh, yeah. Yes, awesome, sweet. Oh, sorry about that, buddy, but we had to get that off for your own good, man. All right. Now you are free. Along. Have freedom. Here. Be, be yeah. happy. <laughs> so that right there, exactly, guys, is why we need to pick up the trash when we can when we're out here because, as you saw, that crab literally had fishing line tied all around its leg. So I ask anybody who's fishing, if y'all are out here or anywhere fishing, make sure you pick up line if you do see it and pick up your line if you lose it. You know, doing a little small thing like that can save something's life. So we're trying to do our part out here and hopefully y'all can do that as well. I appreciate you coming to my TED Talk. Let's do it. <laughs> this one right here is a perfect example of just how hidden these things can be. You can barely tell that's an echinoid right there other than just the shape. And it looks like it's gonna be a pretty nice one. So let's get it cleaned up. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a really nice one. Oh my gosh, this one's gonna be really nice, dude. Really? What the heck? That did not look like it was gonna be that nice. 
All right, y'all, so we found a ton of cool stuff already, but we're gonna take a short little break here now. I found a reusable shopping bag in my vehicle, and we're gonna fill that up with some trash because there's a lot of trash out here, unfortunately. We're gonna get that stuff cleaned up right now. All right, I brought this bag out here, and now we're gonna start throwing some of the trash and stuff that we have gathered up in this stuff. And this is absolutely ridiculous. People just throwing cans and bottles, ew, full of whatever the heck that is, up on the side. So we're taking as much as we can out of here. We'll get some premium bait, beer bottles, more fishing line, also all caught up. Throw that in there. Fishing line, some weird rubber. A weird hose. Oh no, that thing's super long. Might be able to get that. Got it. Dang, that thing's been there forever. It's got oysters wrapped around it. That is crazy. Well, apparently nobody comes out here to clean up. <laughs> Save this. Check it out. A bag full of echinoids, man, and a bag, unfortunately, full of trash. So we're gonna throw that in the back of my vehicle and find a place to properly dispose of that. There's really no trash cans around here, which is probably why there's so much trash. So, got that taken care of, and now we're gonna go hit up another spot and find some more echinoids. So, let's get to it. <laughs> All right, guys, we had a good time at the first spot, found a ton of cool echinoids, picked up some trash, saved a crab, and did our good deed for the day. So now we're gonna head to another spot where there's more echinoids, and hopefully find some more, even better ones. So we're gonna jump in the car and drive over there. Let's get to it. We took a little side stop right here to show you some pretty dang cool stuff. So if you look right down here, these aren't going to look like a whole lot, but look at this wild rock formation right there. So this thing's actually called a coralloid, I believe is what they're called. And these actually are in cave formation. So these are like formed in caves. And basically what happened right here is when they dredged all of this up, they dug into these cave deposits. And so you have these coralloids just sitting all over the place right here. And they're really, really cool looking rock. So it's really awesome. And also the formation here that they're coming out of is the Avon Park formation, which is the oldest surface exposures in Florida around 40, 45 million years old. So it's really, really cool. Look at those are all coralloid right there. Look at that stuff. That is crazy. Found, Brian picking up pieces. I found a pair of shorts. You found a pair of shorts too. Fantastic. That's a pair of 40 million year old shorts. So we're still here checking out these like coralloid stuff and everything and how I was explaining the caves, look at you can kind of see these little cave formations right here. And I see a piece right in here that looks like it's calcite. So calcite crystals will form in here sometimes too. So I'm going to reach in here and I'm going to grab it. Oh my gosh. Oh dude. Look at that, it was just sitting there, beautiful calcite wow. crystals. Oh, look at the look at the formation of them. They're like cubes. Yeah. That is so cool, man. Oh, I can't wait to get that. Oh, look at those. We get close right there, man. Look at that. Little squares, little calcite Oh, crystals. wow, that's oh. gorgeous. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is crazy, guys. Okay, that's the, that's my favorite fight of the day. Look at this thing, guys. I got to give you a close look on that calcite. Oh my gosh. That's going to look so good. Once I get that cleaned up, guys, I'm so absolutely stoked about that. Beautiful Florida calcite crystal. My day has been made. Absolutely. That is so crazy. Look at this, guys. There is a cave right here, and Brian crawled up in there with a flashlight. Look how cool that is. Here I go, going in. Oh. <laughs> I'm in the cave, my friends. This is crazy. This is so cool. Yeah, there's some really cool. Look at the exit right there. Oh my gosh, this is wild. All right, I'm getting out before we catch cave disease. <laughs> oh. oh, we got it. Ah, made it out, my friends. Okay guys, it's terribly hot. Like we are we are absolutely dying and we found some really cool echinoids and that 
really awesome piece of calcite to top everything off for the day. And it's so terribly hot that we have decided we're going to go find some beautiful, cool water somewhere. And we're going to jump in and we're just going to swim. So and then after that, we'll go home, get echinoids cleaned up and all that good stuff and get a close look at the finds. But until then, we're going to go find some beautiful, cool water. So let's do it. Alright y'all, I have the echinoids all here in this tub right here. They're all super dirty and all that good stuff. And I'm kind of like one of those weird guys who doesn't like to get them too terribly clean because I like it when you can see a little bit of contrast in the star pattern when there's like still some stuff in there. That's always really cool. And uh, Ashley's frog is going crazy. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to put some bleach in here and let these sit for a minute and I'm going to start brushing them with a toothbrush and all that and then we're going to get a look at them once they're cleaned up a little bit better. So this is actually taking an insanely, insanely long time so I'm not going to do all of them right now but I want to show you guys the ones that I have gotten. So this one right here is exactly what I mean when I'm saying I don't like them too clean. I mean it's still kind of gross looking and all that but there's just so much contrast that you don't get when they're white. I kind of like it. It looks ancient. The crack there and like some of the limestone matrix still on it. I don't know. I just I just think it's cool that way. Maybe maybe it's not popular, but whatever. And then some of them like that though get nice and cleaned up a little bit more and they still look great. So that's really cool. And these all could probably get cleaned up way better if I really wanted to, but it takes a lot of time. But they are gorgeous. Some of them like that one's really cool. And that one right there is pretty actually cool. I like I like that dark color in there actually in the green and the white so nice multicolored echinoid there's its booty right there and that one then to end the video gotta get another closer look at this uh, beautiful absolutely amazing calcite piece there's so many little points they're all like these squares oh my gosh it's such a cool piece it's so cool. And then you can see the little sand calcite formations right there, which are really cool. And here's Ashley's lizard. <laughs> What's this one's name again? I haven't named it yet. Oh, you haven't? Oh my gosh. She's a, her, she's a lady, right? Yep. She's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Y'all need to let me know in the comments below if you want me to just do a video of Ashley's reptiles one day because there's like seven of them in here. Uh, they're pretty cool. Uh, but they're not as cool as calcite. Hmm. I don't know. No, they're pretty cool. But yeah, anyways, there's a calcite right there again, guys. Another close look. It's kind of hard with one hand, but I'm trying to show you all around. Really, really cool stuff. But today was pretty fun, and if you guys enjoyed today's video, please be sure to subscribe if you have not already. Leave a big old thumbs up on the video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you like the echinoids or the calcite better. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.